All right, so this is a double header post here. Responsibility takes away from individuality and is it an addition or is it an addiction? Now, the second part is I got this from my uncle who recently passed away. And, well, it's interesting because this helps me out with keeping the scripture alive, not stale. It's hard to be around what you're familiar with if it's been in your life for years and you feel your spiritual life is struggling. So something like this could be very helpful to you. And it's also before the time where NIV was having its words changed on the inside. So that's actually pretty good. This is about, I'm going to say around 20 years old, give or take at this point. It's been around the block for a while. Now, responsibility taking away from individuality parents and others who are in uh, authority this is something that can be seen because they have rules and structure and principles to abide by that they should not not just can't but they shouldn't try to deviate from trying to keep others in line and following is hard you have to basically stop being someone who is nice you you have to stop being yourself to be who you are in that particular relationship who the you know whoever regardless of who the other person is this isn't just simply a parent kid relationship this is something more you have to stop being who you are who you want to be and have to be whoever you are in that relationship this is not in itself like a big point but it's something to keep in mind because as christians our responsibility is tied to who we believe in as well as the mission that was placed upon us and in short i think this is important enough where if you struggle to find a purpose or a meaning in your own life you can go back on something very simple which is simply focus on the relationship until something else pops up so praising and worshiping god and if there's something else that's laid upon your heart or other gifts that you have you can utilize them beyond that it only gets more complicated depending upon what you bring into your life and what god uses to speak to you with there's probably some other points there but this isn't necessarily a, a con or a negative. This is just something that I've noticed recently that kind of made me think. I don't know if there's much more with this particular topic there. The second part is addition versus addiction. I was having a conversation with a friend here about, you know, real life versus online life. You know, what reality versus online internet reality, that, that type of thing. And I've noted out, noted that for years and i have experience with this for years um but um it is one thing to have something complement your life or be an, an addition to it but the more you get involved the more likely it is to turn into a an addiction so this isn't just simply for the internet but the, this also applies to christians with like Bible and scripture and their the way they hold on to pretty much everything and everyone because as you know it's easy to put other people in the place where God should only be put this is not necessarily a bad thing as far as like you know this is important in my life but it gets it becomes bad when it takes the place that no one it, when when people are put on pedestals that should only be reserved for God, then it becomes an issue. Also, I think scripture talks about how when you let things get between you and God too. When you turn away from God, when you let things get between you and God, when sin disrupts your relationship in some way. So yes, there's that too. Um, but that being said, there's a lot that can still be an addition to your life without it being ever on the moral scale, you know, right or wrong. Uh, healthy, unhealthy, pro con positive negative these are terms that work very well as far as describing things people situations all of that in your life 
But notably, in terms of where you're at being on, on another scale, uh, I'm struggling to get this, to put this into words here. Bear with me. When things are, when you are stuck, you are probably in a, an addiction somewhere. It doesn't have to be porn. It, it could be something else. It could be anything else. You like it. You're around it 24-7. When are you actually going to take a break from it? The internet, your phone, uh, your family, and for those who are you know, Christians who I know of, Scripture, the Bible. Like, you're obsessed to the point of being a fanatic. I don't think that's healthy. I really don't. There should be a time and place for everything, not just simply be everything is the time and place for what I love, for what is in my life. This is important, but I lack the words to educate others on this properly, so I cannot. All I can say is this is my thoughts, this is my opinions on this particular topic. However, I know what I see, and I can describe that as best as I can in words that I, I guess I struggle with. I'm not the most social person out there, but my some of this stuff is passed on to me that I try to pass on to others. This is not one of them. This is something that I've come to notice that I've not picked up on from anyone else. This is tied with my own personal struggles as well. Going through this gives me an, uh, an eye on what it is, and then talking with others confirms it, you know, that it exists, even if it is off or inaccurate in some way. It, it may be impossible to be 100% accurate on everything that is ever talked about anyway, because our point of view is not the only point of view. People talk about, well, what is reality? Reality is dictated by scripture. Reality is t dictated by our parents, by people who hate us, etc., etc. Like, reality is what it is, but we only see a part of it. That being said, addiction versus addition, a compliment to your life. I believe we have our lives to live that only we can live. It is personal. It is just not left up to other people to dictate unless... We have to because we're in that particular role. Special needs people are first on the list as far as that goes. <sighs> Some people are born with issues where they need to be in a controlled, structured environment. Plain and simple. There's, that is not wrong. It is more of a need than anything else. <sighs> so that being said, the internet has largely replaced lives to the point where it is not just an addition, it is an addiction. It is hard to give it a time and place and keep it limited. Some people are on the internet up to 10 hours a day or more. I know because I was a gamer. I still play games, but I don't play them all the time. I am growing increasingly bored and distant and just tired of it. I'm at the point where I'm understanding what other people are saying about building a legacy. Since I have no family to focus on, building a legacy is the next important thing next to, you know, making sure my life is going straight with finances and health and that I'm not falling apart. That my needs and responsibilities are being taken care of and met accordingly. And then I can focus on wants and other things that are fun. Yeah, you know, watching movies and all that. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Everyone's going to have their own personal interests and hobbies and all that. I like playing with Magic the Gathering. I like uh, catching up on Star Wars that I've been missing for like nearly 20 years of my life. So it's not like I care much for Disney personally, but like... When I stopped reading Star Wars back in like, you know, before my time in the military, to, when I joined in 2005, I basically got sidetracked for like 20 years. Not 20 years exactly, but like 15 to 18 years sidetracked, and, and I'm just now guzzling down Star Wars content, good or bad. 
um, because I miss it. And there's an opportunity there to watch it. So yeah, I'm gonna be involved in that for up until I finish uh, the majority of that stuff, the Clone Wars and all that. That's just an example here that many people can relate to because Star Wars is cool, or it used to be cool. The way um, it's been represented -pres recently has been very much of an issue for the fans. Oh, uh, for those who are Star Wars fans, my favorite characters are uh, Dash Render from Shadows of the Empire, D. Harhan, which I think is from either Tales of the Bounty Hunter or Tales from the Empire. The guy is one of like five survivors who basically had his head put into his stomach and replaced with a turret. The, 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 the images are very interesting. Um, he's like a walking turret. Ended up saving Boba Fett's life. Um, I want to say there's a couple others out there too. Revan, I recently heard about, is pretty cool. Kind of like a gray Jedi, so to speak. Um, in between light and dark, keeping it very simple. Uh, intricate philosophies on both the Sith and the Jedi, which I will talk about later because it's very cool how the two are with the, the philosophies combined with like a scriptural point of view. So pretty cool there. Um, but yeah, um, Darth Malgus will be the last one rounding up the list, I think, give or take. He came after Darth Vader, but in many ways they designed him to be uh, the pr predecessor of Darth Vader. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's about it for this topic. Didn't realize it was gonna take longer than 10 minutes, but hopefully it's been interesting and a bit of an eye opener for you as well. Specifically since uh, the church doesn't exactly cover this sort of thing. Let's talk about uh, Hebrews chapter four, verses six. Let's talk about Matthew and Mark and Luke and John. I'm sorry. I hear you, I know those passages, but I really would like something that isn't talked about 24 seven. So my odds and my resistance with pastors and preachers inside the church is specifically geared towards, can we talk about something that isn't mainstream, please? Something that is relevant to our lives that we can relate to and understand. It's hard, it's frustrating. So it's not something that I hold against them, but it is something that I have a problem with. That being said, thank you. I hope this has been an eye-opener for you, and until next time, all right?